Hello and welcome to another cool smartphone video with me unboxing the brand new Xperia Z5. Now this is not retail packaging, this is uh, slightly different, uh, so it may not have all the accessories in it. So let's get into it. As you can see on the side there, we do have the graphite black and that is the model number. Um, and it does say that this is a demo box. So that's the phone on top, we'll move that off to the side just a moment. And then underneath here we have our mains charger, which is your standard UK 3-pin mains charger. This is not a fast charger, this is just giving out an output of 5 volts and 1500 milliamp hour. So fairly standard Sony charger. And then we have our micro USB cable um, with a standard USB on the other end because the Sony does not use a USB-C. And then under there, under this wee flap here, we've got some SAR information. Um, that's pretty much it. As I said, this is a demo box. Uh, your box may come with headphones, it may not. It does depend on carriers. Okay, but this one was direct from Sony. So moving all that aside, let's actually have a look at the phone. So we'll just take it out of its little plastic wrapper here. And we do have a screen protector on the front and on the back for packaging. So we'll peel them off. And as you can see, a gorgeous um, 5.2 in, 5 inch display with the speakers at the bottom and the top. Slightly different from the Z3. They are now inset into the edges. You've got your five megapixel um, autofocus camera there, and you've got some sensors flanking the Sony logo. The big difference here is the power key. The power key is also a fingerprint reader, and your volume button, your volume rocker, has moved down slightly, and the camera key is in the same sort of place. At the bottom, we do have an uncapped micro USB and a lanyard port. That USB is capable of uh, quick charging via the Snapdragon quick charging process. On the other side, we have a Xperia um, logo that's been engraved into the side. And underneath your single flap now, you have your SD card slot and also your SIM slot. Um, I, d I have put both my SD card and SIM in there. I'll just let you see them there. So it's a wee bit fiddly, SD card goes on one side, SIM goes on the other side. As you can see, my SIM just popped out, so we'll pop that back in. The phone itself is made out of um, aluminium on the edges and glass, and it does have um, hardened corners, as it was the case of the Z3, and also the Z4 tablet, and indeed the Z4 compact, uh, Z3 compact tablet. Peeling off the rear cover, we have our 23 megapixel sensor with our um, LED flash. I don't believe it's a dual tone LED flash. You've also got your NFC identifier there, which you can just make out if you get the light right. Sony logo, and at the bottom our Xperia logo. Now this is a frosted glass back panel, so it isn't as much of a fingerprint magnet as predecessors. And then up at the top, you have a pinhole mic and your 3.5mm headphone jack. And you can see there that your aluminium goes all the way around, and it actually does feel really nice in the hand. Now, I have actually taken this out of the box and set it up, so let's power it on. Nice, vivid, bright startup screen with the Sony and the Xperia branding. And it should now show, in a couple of moments, the Android logo as is the case of all new Android phones in a lovely green there. Again, nice and vivid, and this is just your startup animation. Now, it's not coming across in the video, but this is actually white with uh, some subtle tones of grey. For some reason, it's showing as a blue in the video. But it is a very vibrant display. Just takes a little bit of time to get through the initial boot up. Sorry about this. Uh, but you can, in the right light, you can actually make out those sensors at the top there. Okay. So that is a very brief overview and unboxing of the Xperia Z5 handset. 
and that's our home screen now. Now I'm just going to demo the fingerprint unlock so my screen is awake all I need to do is tap my thumb to the side and it unlocks straight away. Um, you can actually set this up so that it will detect other fingers. I've set it up to detect my forefinger on my left hand as well because I sometimes pick it up that way. And you can see there that it is a very very fast reader. The only difficulty I can see with this is that you do have to press the button before you actually have to uh, scan your fingerprint which could be slightly a slight nuisance it will take some getting used to. So that's it that's the Xperia Z5 unboxing there is going to be a full review of this and also a feature comparison with the Huawei Mate S um, on the camera particularly the low light performance as I was very impressed with the Huawei Mate S on my previous review if you like seeing content like this from CoolSmartphone.com, please subscribe to the video and uh, you can also like and comment uh, down below and we do welcome those as well. So that's everything from me today. Thanks very much for your time and I'll see you next time. Cheers.